This is going to be a tutorial on how to make an octagonal prism. And if you don't know what an octagonal prism is, this is an octagonal prism. Some other names for it is uh, are the octagon barrel or the octagonal barrel. It has a lot of names, but um, the octagon barrel is one name that I hear a lot for it. Now this this actually isn't the custom one. This is um. This is uh, one of the production ones from the 80s, and the only reason I'm showing you now is this is what the end result will look like. Now, there's two types of pieces you need to make. You need to make an ed um, the edge. You need to make four edges like this, and four corners like this. Now, I'll take this apart for you and show you what I mean. Okay, now you could probably see that. Actually, I'll get a three by three piece too. Okay, so this is an, a corner piece from the octagonal barrel that you need to make, and this is an original corner. And what you need to do is you need to cut it in half like that. Now, what I like to do is I like to get my Dremel and make a little hole in here and fill it. Um, as much as it needs to, and then sand it down. This is a drum sander I have. Um, it, this is a really useful tool for modding. It was a bit expensive, but it's a great tool for modding. I mean, you could always just use a hacksaw, but... Well, so yeah, you either want to use a sander, a hacksaw, a bandsaw, or something like that. To cut, to uh, truncate your pieces. And the edge is pretty much made the same way. Just cut them in half. Now I'm only going to be showing you how to make the edge. Uh, sorry, the corner. So let's move this out of the way, except for the pieces that we're going to be modifying. And if you're using a belt sander or a or a drum sander, what you would want to do is, well, um, after you're ready to start and everything. You'd want to be wearing some safety goggles or something, so like the dust doesn't go in your eyes, but I can't find my safety goggles right now, so I'm just going to be extra careful. Um, okay. So, um, I'm not going to fill this piece, because a lot of you might just want to fill it after, but I'm going to show you how I truncate it. As you could probably see, this is what the end result should look like. If you didn't fill it, this is what it should look like. This is just from the plastic melting. You can just flick that away. Or you could sand it away. So if you already sanded, if you already filled it first, then what you'd want to do is just get some finer sandpaper. Um, I like to work with um, 350 grit and 600 grit for when I'm doing fine sanding. But if you didn't fill it yet, what you would want to do is fill this 
and then and then use your finer sand sandpaper. And then yeah, they should both look something like this. So you do that to four edges and eight corners. And in the end, you get your octagon barrel. I hope this helped, and thank you for watching.